What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to be unboxing a very old Titan here. This is the Titans Return Trypticon. So I never picked this up. I never found it. A lot of people told me they saw it at Ross and Ollie's. We don't have Ross and Ollie's. I never saw this anywhere. And by the time I finally realized I wanted it, it had shot up in price. So anyway, a friend of mine, Dr. Diecast, found it at New Jersey Comic Con and NJCC. And I said, if you can find it for this price, please buy it. And he found it. Thank you to him for getting this for me. So I'm just going to be doing an unboxing. I don't know if I'm going to do a review. Just for uh, members, I'll unbox this thing. But it is relatively old, so I'm not sure it's worth a review. But there's the artwork on the front. Really nice. And on the back, we got product images. Robot mode, base mode, spaceship mode. And remember all these? Titans Return. All the uh, heads were compatible. Look at that. Old school. So let's get it open. And he found one new in box, by the way. So here's how it comes. We've got the sticker sheet and instructions. Let's actually open this up. I'll probably apply some of these stickers because there's a lot. But you got the collector's card. And pick specs. It rates them all differently. Trypticon, Necro, and Full Tilt. Then we got the instructions. It's a big fold out. Oh no. Take that suck. There's the sticker sheet. All chrome stickers. I'll probably put some of these on. And we've got the instructions, which is a giant fold out. So yeah. And let's get this guy out of here. I'm just gonna cut all these ties and let it out. I'm really not going to bother with this packaging because I'm going to throw away the packaging. Yeah, right. I think this goes in here, it slides up, so it clicks into place, and then this goes down. There's a little peg here, so you push that in, I think. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And let's see the other side. Uh, this vehicle fell off, so looks like it's it's got rubber bands around it. So we'll take that off. Let's get that peg back on. And let's do the other side. Well, I hope this stays on somehow. Falls off very easily. There we go. So let's do this side. We'll fold this up. Let's grab the leg. Slide it in. And then we'll push this in. Let's stand them up. All right, and there is Trypticon in Dyna mode. I think it looks really good. I like it. Um, it's really big, so the point where I'm not even sure if I can fit this on the shelf. I'm going to have to find a way to display this, but I love it. I've always wanted a Trypticon since I was a kid. I had the play set. I borrowed it from a friend, but... Nice to have it on your own. I like these guns, that's pretty cool. Oh, that does extend out, that's awesome. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Nice articulation. He's got a gun in his nose, which is cool. Wonder if that's a oh there's a there's a press down gimmick. That's cool. Yeah man. Happy with it. So thanks again to Dr. Diecast for picking this up. Thanks to Brian B, who actually sold this to me. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see if we do a review. Probably not, just because it's so old, but we'll see you next time.